Good morning, my friends all over the world, advocates, clients, and sponsors. And today we have um, Anna Jacob, and she was interviewed last week. And nonetheless, she has uh, kindly asked um, a clarification on the last uh, interview because um, she believed that there are certain concepts were not uh, properly expressed and, ex and explained. Welcome, Anna. Welcome once again with us. Hi, thank you, Ramon, for having me again. I really do appreciate it. No, the pleasure is always mine, my lady. So, thank you. Um, in the last uh, interview, because maybe we were a little bit excited, <laughs> we missed um, talking about your background. Could you tell us a little bit about yes. the background that will lead us to the clarification yes. that we want to do today? Yes, um, I have two degrees, one in microbiology and botany, and my second degree is in clinical laboratory science. So I have, I have an extensive knowledge in the hospital setting, but during that time period, parallelly, I grew and I did a lot of research and development with cannabis. Well, that give you um, top knowledge I, of um, yes. how the plant behaves and grows. Yes. And what yes. We do with it, eh? And I learned in Kuwait how to grow when I was 14 years old by my grandmother who died of Parkinson's disease at 101. She was very, very healthy. She didn't die of the disease. She died of natural age. Oh, wow. Well, uh, so it was cannabis use. She used cannabis her whole life. Well, my mama is 34 years old. She got Parkinson's disease and she is in a situation that we should talk about that in a later stage. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. I would love to. Absolutely. Anna, please tell us about the clarification that you truly believe that yes. the students should be. When we, yes. When we discussed about um, reversal spray in terms of hemp plants or even cannabis plants in general, the reversal spray, what it does is, is that it takes the female pistils and it removes it hormonally and then it turns it into a male plant. It doesn't do it the other way around. I wish it did, but it doesn't do it that way. The only way it does it is it takes the female plant and makes it into a male. So people that want to make seeds and harvest for the following year, they can. They can do any type of breeding with those seeds. So what kind of benefits the <clears throat> farmers or the investors could take from this knowledge? Um, not to use the reversal spray unless you're genetically trying to breed and actually make your own strain. You don't need to use reversal spray. And if you want to know the sex of your plant, there's a very, there is um, a lot of information out there, medical information, and especially in the microbiology area, there is a test that's called polymerase chain reaction. And it is um, a test that allows hemp and cannabis cultivators to screen plants, not only for the sex, but also for the genetic traits that it has. Like if there's certain genetic traits you're looking for, like a terpene profile or a higher cannabinoid profile, then you're able to hone that in through the PCR testing. And it, uh, and it also not only gives you the gender detection, but you're able to um, basically perfect the plant to how you want it to be. And if you think genetically it's not a good plant, then you can just yank it. And this can be tested on a seedling. That's a very, very small plant. So that's amazing science. I mean, we're just at the very surface of learning so much about this beautiful plant. You impressed me last time that we talked with, with your uh, statement where you said that we are in an infant stage. We are just is, is, is scratching the knowledge of what we know or what we think we know. So there is a long way to rock and roll, right? <laughs> 